Animals! Ever since Noah let them off the ark, we've hunted them into extinction, experimented, and made them into very delicious meals. As for me, I love animals! No he doesn't, he's an abusive tyrant. Don't listen to him, he has no rights. I own this house. Sometimes people may think animals can be mistreated, and after all, they're people too. What are you, bunch of racists? Organizations like PETA are the ones responsible for making sure that animals get the proper treatment but sometimes their protests can go a little out of proportion. They even go as far as to make games for their protests. These games tend to be parroting or protesting against a certain video game series for being too violent towards animals. And man, do they get their point across. So let's see what there is, and after all, it is PETA. How bad could it be? Three, three, three two, two, one. one. Got a blast! So, um, I'm going to go ahead and say what we're all thinking. What the heck is that? Is that Mario holding the severed head of a raccoon? This might be the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. So in this game, you play as a raccoon chasing Mario to get your fur back. Your main action button is to jump while avoiding obstacles, and it's a very simple game, but just the fact it exists makes me want to cry. He must really want his fur back if he's willing to deal with all this crap. And hey, I would too, if it would make me fly like that! Let's try another game. Here's another Mario one called Super Chick Sisters. And hold on, is that Colonel Sanders? Hey buddy, you're not looking too good. You might want to take some aspirin. The story goes is that Pam Anderson was about to reveal Sanders' dirty secrets about his chicken to the world until she was immediately kidnapped. And now it's up to the Chick Sisters to save Pam Anderson from the evil clutches of Colonel Sanders. This one is more of a traditional Mario platformer, but except you play as chicks. And instead of a fire-breathing antagonist, you got an elderly man from Kentucky. I mean, who else would you pick? Ronald McDonald? No! Ronald already looks like a registered sex offender. He doesn't need any more criticism. There's really not much to this game. It's rather bland, but remember, it's for the cause. I just find it funny how they killed two birds with one stone and made a game that protests against KFC and Super Mario. You know, this game actually makes me want to eat Kentucky Fried Chicken. All right, next game, Pokemon Black and Blue. Ah, don't look, Pikachu. Ow, why you little? Of course, the Pokemon series was an easy target for PETA. It's pretty hard to defend the fact that in the game you have animals battle each other until they faint. But I have to be honest, it's pretty funny how they did it. The battle system isn't as advanced as the real deal, but it feels pretty identical. What really bothers me, though, is that the fact that somebody at PETA would have to play Pokemon to fully understand how the battle system works. They even straight up said that they played one of the Pokemon games in the game. Wow. Either they did their research, or PETA's full of hypocrites. They even made a sequel to this game called Pokemon Red, White, and Blue. Oh, poor Pikachu. Poor Miltank. Poor Jigglypuff. Poor... Grimace. Why is Grimace in a Pokemon game? What McDonald's Pokemon fanfiction did they rip off to make this? They just ripped it off like a band-aid. Oh god, they managed to make the Hamburglar creepier than he already is. Stop! Okay, first murder, stop! Just, just please stop hitting me! Maybe we need to go a little bit more kid-friendly. Here's a game based off of the Cooking Mama series. Cooking Mama. Mama kills animals. Oh, what can I say? They got to the point real quick on that one. What's wrong with Mama? She looks like she was just dumped by her ex and went on a psychotic killing spree. Now hold on, can we just talk about how stupid this is? Why are they protesting against Cooking Mama, which is literally just about cooking? What's wrong with teaching kids how to make chicken noodle soup? I guess I see where they're coming from with Mario and Pokemon, but what about this is animal cruelty? Here, look, you should easily be able to tell which one of these is the real product. I'll give you a hint. It's not the one where you're pulling the eternal organs out of a turkey! And I would like you to know that one of the mini games on here is just pressing the on button on this oven. That's it, that's all you do. Now there are way more PETA games out there, but I wanted to cover these games specifically before we went on to the final game for this video. Unlike most of these games, which are browser-based, this game was released for the PS4 and mobile devices. And that game is...
All right, Kitten Squad, let's do this before I actually change my mind and do something worthwhile with my time. Once upon a time, there was an orca whale named Olivia. One day, her parents were kidnapped and she never saw them again. She was then taken to Sealand where she was forced to do tricks and was impregnated by the Sealand employees. Even her only friend Simon killed himself. You know, this is sad and all, but I'm not seeing any cats. So, uh... This game, I'm not sure what to say about it. You just go around as a cat shooting crap and I just, I have no idea. It takes a top-down perspective, kind of like the Binding of Isaac, where you have to fight enemies and keep on going to different rooms. Except in this game, it's way less fun. Even when stuff isn't exploding, I can't even make out what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. I'm sure I'm supposed to be saving a whale, but I'm not sure where I am in time or space. Not to mention that the controls are balls. Doesn't that just put the icing right on the cake? Really, the only thing good about this game is that it's free. There's different stories to keep you interested, but what's the point? It's all the same. No different levels, no different variations in gameplay, no different nothing. It's tedious and boring. All you do is go in a room, kill stuff, 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 go in a room, kill stuff. The Twilight Zone. You know, I think I finally get it. Animals aren't meant to be treated horribly, they're living creatures just like us. Maybe it's because us as humans just feel too afraid of these animals, so we try to beat them down so we can make ourselves feel better. I think it's finally time I took a stand for all this. I'm going to show the people how animals are truly being treated. And just to make my point, I'm going to kill myself because an animal's life is more important than mine. Bye! Oh, no. oh and now I'm dead.